My name's Phil Cully and I'm the farm manager here at Camp Hill Communities based at Thornage Hall in North Norfolk. The, the, the whole land-based aspect here at Thornage is being run as, as a workshop and the emphasis is on offering meaningful work to vulnerable adults. That's, that's primarily what we're all about. So the cattle are housed for half a year so we can get a deep litter going on which will produce some fertility for the land and so these cows are very very used to having people around being in close contact and they're all run as suckler cattle we don't do any dairy because we're a closed herd and we only have 70 acres to play with and a lot of that is down to you know the sort of biodiversity of the site and also mixed vegetables I'm very limited to what I can find in the way of grazing and quality winter silage. We run everything biodynamically so we have a, a, a very high-end organic status. We're also liaising with a butcher that's three miles away from where we live here. So, um, you know, we're, we're ticking a lot of boxes. The, the main aim is actually that we, we're actually supplying the meat uh, to accompany the vegetables that we grow on site, which are also biodynamic. Um, pr primarily to feed the community with some surplus for sale. We're about a 70 acre site here at Thornage and the soil is very light and sandy, it's a very light sandy loam so nutrients aren't particularly good at staying with us so we rely very heavily on clover lays just to keep the fertility of the land. And what we've actually done on this particular area that we're looking at, it's about 2.2 hectares here and uh, we've put down a whole crop silage and we've used a triticale with vetch uh, and then we've undersowed that with the long-term lamins mix with a view that we could cut the whole crop for silage in that first year and the grass then is already well established underneath the whole crop silage uh, with a view that that will then get away and the plan is for this to be sort of a minimum of five year lay in this side of the, of the field. And we've already cut silage, as you can see, we're nice and short here. And I'm sort of very, very happy with the yield that we've got from this area. On the other side of the field, we've got a slightly larger area. And what we're looking at here is a four hectare area. And we've repeated that same process. So we've got whole crop silage, again with the vetch, and the idea is again that we've put down grass clover lay underneath the whole crop silage, with a view then that we'll, we'll just repeat that process. We'll, we'll cut whole crop silage, the grass will be in place, well established, with a view then over the next sort of five years or so, that'll stay in grass and be continually cut annually for, for, for silage lay. The reason why we've staggered it a little bit is um, I rely quite heavily on outside contractors, local farmers that I liaise with and uh, on their advice and also the advice of our uh, farm advisor. We've split the field into two so that if this one is wearing down after five years, this 2.2 hectares, we can turn this field around but we'll still have continuity of silage on the other side of the fence. Uh, and then consequently this will then be getting established again and the other side will be wearing out and being changed. From this um, two hectare area we've actually been able to achieve uh, six tonnes of silage from a first cut. The lamins drought resistant lay that we've used underneath the whole crop uh, we've actually omitted the chicory. Now the reason why we've done that is um, I found that because I'm relying on contractors coming in to help me to manage the silage, cutting and baling and wrapping, um, because we're a very small farm, only 70 acres in total, um, we tend to be finding that we're on the, the end of the list a little bit. So the chicory is actually becoming quite woody. The stalk is quite strong, it's not so palatable for the cattle and obviously when you're wrapping silage you've then got this problem whereby the heavy strong stalks are actually piercing the, the, the polythene as they're being wrapped. So rather than keep the chicory in we've actually just slightly increased the white clover uh, and also the coxfoot grass. Um, we found that the cattle find that most palatable um, we had a very good cut from this last year and um, we had very little waste so that was the main advantage. I do have other areas that we've kept the 
Chicory Inn um, simply for the benefit of them mining the deeper minerals. Um, you know, and, and I mean, Chicory is very palatable for the cattle, but you, you know, you have to get that cut fairly early, in my experience.